All right, I'm gonna do a quick video on how to track out when you have issues that is interfering and causing MER, BER issues with uh, your 700, 800, 900 megahertz frequencies. Um, so we're gonna check here. Um, as you can see here, we have power meter that runs on Zigbee. Zigbee runs from 902 to 928. We also have a cell tower. Both of those uh, operate in between 700 and 900 megahertz area, and if there's any leaks in your cable plant, it will get in. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna devise a easy to make little loop antenna. It's about six inches across. And as you can see here, all I did was strip some stinger and wrap it around itself. But it's important that there is a little gap there. That way your braids are not touching uh, the other braids as it loops back around, only the stinger. And then what we're gonna do is on our Bayavi meter, we're gonna go to the spectrum app. I'm gonna let that load for a second. All right, now that that's on, <clears throat> we're gonna go to display. Here in this area, it is um, a nice kind of quiet area where there's not a whole lot going on between 780 and 820 megahertz. It's pretty quiet, like there's not a whole lot of over the air stuff in that frequency range. So I'm gonna use that frequency range um, just so I can see if there's any cable leaks. So I'm gonna hit okay, okay, let's get out of there. And if I just lay this loop antenna, you know, right on here, move it around. You can kind of move it around the different areas and you're gonna to test to see if there's cable leakage. So you can see there's definitely some cable leakage. Um, you wanna to check to make sure that there's nothing like anything loose. You don't see uh, 180s, 90s, uh, feeder itself could be cracked um, anywhere through here. You might wanna do some movement, wiggle some things around just to make sure that nothing's loose. Um, sometimes the feeder can be cracked, um, maybe a radial crack on the hard line, and just kind of moving it around a little bit so it's not so stationary, you may get results um, that may pop up to show you that there's a leak, indicating that is somewhere that the LTE and, and Zigbee and everything else that's over the air may be getting in that frequency range. Um, it's important that this loop antenna is approximately six inches across because that gets you in that seven to 800 megahertz range where it's most sensitive to reading uh, the frequencies leaking out. So if we're leaking out in that frequency range, then this stuff's definitely getting in in that same frequency range. One other thing I want to point out here is if you go to the settings, um, turn off your auto resolution bandwidth. And once you set your max and min, if it's to a smaller section like I have here from uh, 780 to 820, there is an option for 88 kilohertz. You wanna go on that lowest setting. That way you can see uh, a little better resolution here on your, your signal leakage here. Now, as you can see, I can see there's little V's that separate each of these channels. Each each one of these is a separate channel of our cable signal leaking out. So if I go to the settings and change the resolution bandwidth to something, let's say 352, it's not quite as pronounced. Well, let's change it to 703, and now it just kind of looks like a like a noise floor, you can't really see much. So that's why I use the lowest setting, just makes life easy. And you can definitely tell when your cable signal is leaking out. So, yep, in this market, you were having issues from in the 700s and even 900 megahertz. So um, I'll be here just making sure everything's tidied up, getting everything snugged up and getting all the leaks out so the customers don't have issues. Thanks for watching.